All righty, YouTube. So every week for members of the Yogi's Toolbox, I do a direct realization yoga class. It's about 75 minutes. And so you are about to get an extract from that class. Not the whole thing, but just an extract. So partly because, you know, I maybe you like it. Maybe you're like, oh, I want to do this thing. Um, in which case you just need to join the toolbox. There's a link up the top. Um, become a member and then you get to do the weekly classes and all the recordings there's literally like a hundred classes already in the recordings so on this week's class we did an arrival practice dancing the dragon which is a spontaneous way of working with energy of working with the body of surrendering the mind of not trying to achieve attain anything but simply learning how to be with whatever's arising and allow what is needed in the body to come through from there, we moved into an orientation to awareness practice where we worked on the expansion and containment of energy, feeling that, orientating to that. And then we dove into a Dharma talk where I went in to explain continuity and how to work with continuity in your daily life, how to basically take your practice off the mat and begin to integrate it into your life. And through working with continuity, one of the things I talked about and the homework that I offered my students was a social media practice. Yes, that's right, folks. You can actually be doing a yogic practice while you're on social media. How amazing is that? Uh, and then after that, we flowed into Uchada. So after this, you'll find a little extract of that class. And if you love it and you're like, I want more, jump on the toolbox and you can have more. And see that. So continuity, what I've been noticing, here's a very concrete example. So last night I've been I was on Instagram and I watched this particular video and it's freaking amazing. I might actually link to it in the telegram chat so you guys can see it. And in this very creative, very epic video reel on Instagram. Um, this particular artist, because he is an artist, he was like, you know, 1983, the internet was created and it is its own entity. And the internet, the entity that is the internet feeds on our attention. That is what feeds it, our attention. And then it talked about how the internet is neither good nor bad, right? And that what we are being invited to do is to learn how to surf it, right? that the internet is really good way to distract us and we can get lost in it. We can drown in it, right? However, it's entirely possible. And this is what I've been working on. This is the continuity for me. It is entirely possible to be online, to be engaging with online material and not lose oneself to maintain full sensory awareness and just full awareness as such you see and when I saw this it just I was like yeah that's what I've been doing this is how this works right and we often frame life as good or bad you know the internet bad uh, social media bad etc and it's like no 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 it's it is what it is and it's how we orientate to it and it's how we work with it and so in terms of continuity when we come into practice here, and I invite you to be aware of your breath, you're still aware of your breath right now, you know, can you still really sense and feel your breath in your body? And to be aware of your body, right, to really be aware of, can you feel your toes, the soles of your feet, your fingers, your crown of your head, right, and really sense that. And as you're coming into awareness of breath and awareness of body, there is sensory data. Can you hear the sounds around you, whether it's the hum of the fridge or the chirping of the bird or the, the buzz of the traffic, right? Can you be aware of the sounds? Can you smell the air? Can you, can you be attuned to all of the sensory data that is there right now? And that is aliveness. When we're not thinking about life, right? We're not perceiving life through the mind. But rather, we're aware of breath, we're aware of body, and all of that sensory information is present for us. Now, can you be in that place and scroll your social media, right? 
can you notice or catch yourself when you were there and you're scrolling and then you lose touch with awareness of breath, awareness of body, sensory experience, and you become distracted completely in the mind, do, 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 do. your attention has now been grabbed by the entity that is the internet, right? Now, the reason, the beauty of that is that when that happens, all of, that, all of our angst, all of what we're feeling kind of drops away. We forget ourselves, right? Um, and so it's like what I notice in the sense of continuity is can there be a remembering in all moments? Can I be interfacing with surfing the internet, YouTube, what fucking ever, and still be fully present to all the sensory experience that's unfolding what I notice then is that rather than the internet grabbing me and having me and I'm scrolling for hours and then I kind of come to it I'm like fuck where did the last 90 minutes go what will unfold is that I'll watch a couple of things and then the intuitive sense of movement of beingness will be like oh it's time for a cup of tea Ah, I'm going to go stand outside and put my feet on the grass. Ah, I'm going to clean my room. And and it's not that I'm even having these thoughts. It's like there is just a movement toward these things and these things start to, to unfold. And so the continuity, the, the flow of, you could call it Shakti, if you like, a flow, that flow remains. And even though there's interfacing with something that is highly addictable, can be, the interfacing it's like how do I describe it it's like I'm using it it's not using me as such it's not feeding off me we are just meeting I am appreciating the gifts that the internet brings and the gifts of social media and I'm staying centered and allowing flow to happen right this is continuity and so we do all these practices to remember who we are so that we can then start to integrate and bring that into our daily lived experience where there is nothing to figure out, right? There is nothing to figure out. Moment to moment, your, your beingness knows how to respond to what is happening, right? 